Hi, I am a licensed marriage and family therapist in Long Beach, California, here to talk a little bit about self-care. And self-care can be anything you enjoy. For some people, you know, self-care can be one thing and another person can think, oh my gosh, that would be the worst thing ever, right? So it's really a matter of what you enjoy. So it could be, you know, taking a bath, taking a shower, uh, reading a book, listening to music, burning some candles, uh, taking a walk, going for a run, talking to friends, not talking to anybody, being alone. Those are all types of things that could be self-care depending on you and what you prefer and what energizes you. So it's a matter of finding those things that energize you that doesn't take away completely from your, your other part of your life, right? And so anything within moderation can be really good. Um, well, anything within reason, of course, right? Um, and so to be be aware of that. So, you know, if working out is your form of self-care and you're doing it 10 hours a day or seven hours a day, okay, that's not helpful, right? Or healthy. And so you wanna do it to an extent that's healthy and that brings up the rest of your life. And a lot of people struggle with self-care because they don't have time. You know, they might work a full-time job and drive a half hour or two hours each way in traffic, what have you. Um, they have kids at home, they have other responsibilities. We more and more and more today are multitasking and not really getting a chance to breathe. So even one activity is like 10 of what it used to be, right? If our grandparents were to run to the supermarket, that's all they're doing. With us, we're running to the supermarket, returning texts, making sure our kids on Life360 are healthy and safe and where they're supposed to be and all that stuff. And there's just so much coming in, which is why it's even more important to participate in self-care. And I'll leave you with the example of when you're on an airplane every single time, they tell you put your own oxygen mask on first before you help somebody else. And some people might think this is self selfish, but if you think of it in the long run, it's really selfless because if you're putting your own oxygen mask on first, you can help way more people than if you just go along holding your breath, try to help people until you collapse and hope maybe someone puts one on you. So, you know, participate in something, figure out that it, what that is. If you don't know, Google things people do to relax, things people do for self-care, call a therapist, go to a therapist. Um, those are really important to your survival, really important to your well-being, your mental health. And so that is my tip for the day. I hope you take care of yourself. Go out there and do something that you enjoy.